Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your December bi-weekly. This is for the 1st to the 15th. Before I start my reading, happy, uh, happy holidays to, every, to anyone who celebrates the holidays. Okay, anyhow. So in this reading, we're going to see um, in, the, in the extended part if it's going to continue towards the next year. The energies that you, have, you are dealing with, okay? Because it's wrapping up of the year. Now it's time to celebrate. A new energy comes. A new energy will have to release. So let's see what's going on for the Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's see here. Wow. You have your Wheel of Fortune. Consider it not bad for a start. Can be dealing for with a fire... Oh, with a fire sign. With a fixed sign over here. Remember, I mean, I always say this with a Wheel of Fortune, it's like a time thing that we're, you're dealing with. Up and down, up and down. You'd be dealing with each of the zodiac over here, right? Water sign, fire sign, air sign, earth sign. This energy that you're dealing with this person, it's very much to the energy where you can't let go of them and they can't let go of you. It's fixed. I mean, if I have to say it, it's rigged. Before you even get birth, you have signed up for this already. That you ha you will encounter this person. However, how you deal with the energy, that's different. Meeting the person is already fixed. But dealing with them is not fixed. I'm just going to get the top card because... First. Because this is going to be this side. It's a different spread again. You have here the star card. I'm not going to open this until. Destiny. Again, it was fixed. The, the astrology part. They, they aligned you with this person. You've been guided to meet this person. Fortunate accidents as what, as what I would call it. You didn't just bump into this person for no reason. Can be an Aquarian over here. Someone who believes in spirituality, in astrology, in tarot, you know, a cult. I mean, the spirit has led you to this person. And that's why it's hard for you if you're trying... Oh, sorry. I already have the card. Um, for, it's hard for you if you're trying to get away from it. I don't sense that you're trying to get away from it, but I'm explaining to you why, you why this person is around you. And Queen of Wands energy can be a fire sign. This is, a, uh, I believe, a Leo energy, but can be a Aries or Sag. See, this is the occult, the cat over there, the mysteries, pyramids over here at the back, goals from ages over here, guys. You're connecting with someone who, one, you really like how they look, seductress, right? A person who understands the drive. They keep you going. This person keeps you going. Wheel of Fortune, they spin the wheel over here. Not that they control you. But they give you a purpose. We all have, you know, we all find our purpose, you know, sometimes to another energy and then we carry it over. So they give you that new hope. You know what? This is something new. You know? The hope also, the star card. Wow. And the strength card over here. Can be a Leo. You have Leo in your chart. Overcoming a difficult situation, right? Being compassionate, loving. This energy is so strong. Because you guys have dealt through so much with this person, Cancerian. Fights, arguments, misunderstanding. Strength card always, um, you know, um, comes up because of all the troubles before, you know. And all those lower vibration, basically. Any lower vibration, you've dealt with this person and you guys overcome. Always overcoming it. But you, get, you, get, you can get tired because it's a cycle. Wheel of Fortune, right? And you're questioning yourself, why, why am I here? The star card. Person can be cuckoo crazy with the Queen of Wands. <laughs> okay. Because they get what they want and they want it now, they don't want it now. You know, it's like, it's just like this person is temperamental. It's almost like the hot, they're, they're always hot, basically. Okay. Now the divide. Mm hmm. Wow. Four major arcana. The divide, I mean, the, I call it the divide because this is where the crossroads. Aries energy, emperor, controlling, right? Doing what is just. The, the star is looking at the emperor over here. 
this is your being hopeful that well not that you're being hopeful you see the person is someone who you can build and conquer and go through life basically concern this is the person that you want to spend your life with you know till the forever part i don't believe in the forever part because we're on a day-to-day -day basis over here guys you know the planet is evolving and stuff but you know like this is the person that you want to be with you know you don't see other people anymore here you don't the lion has been looking at the emperor so much power that this connection have but it's it's asking of you basically to keep going because the stability is here with the emperor business owner follows their passion emperor and queen of wands over here feminine masculine i'm sensing over here and you know this is soulmate card a strength card also the star is basically leading you towards this person very powerful person influential controls the you know controls their own um destiny person is driven guys okay so i'm going to continue this reading concerns on um how it um you know if it if it gets carried over towards 2018 have a wonderful wonderful holiday.